Today, I am starting over in hardcore Minecraft. Back in 2021, I had survived in my main hardcore world for just over 600 days, and I had accomplished so, so much. However, if you remember that world, then you also most likely remember what happened to it. My old computer died, and I lost all of my data, including the world. So here we are setting out on our brand new adventure to make a new, even better world in Minecraft 1.18. This is Hardcore Season 2. All right, so here we are, the first hardcore world that I've played in. That's just straight up vanilla Minecraft in a while. It's honestly been a while. So let's go ahead and get some wood. This is also the first live commentary I've done in the channel in quite some time. I really am excited to start this series. I hope you all really enjoy this. I have big, big plans. In fact, for this video today, I wanted to make myself three big goals that we are going to accomplish. The first goal, get full iron armor. The second goal is to find a good place to live and make a house. And the third goal is to light it up and make a wall. But first, we need to get some tools. Place a crafting bench next to our friendly neighborhood dog here. And we're going to make ourselves a pickaxe. Axe, I guess, to get more wood, even though I could just get stone. And we're taking this. Okay, so we got our, we got our wood. We got our wooden tools. Let's go find a nice little, like, cave. Look at the, look at the terrain over there. Look, look at how beautiful this is. This... I still haven't played a ton of 1.18 since I've been doing so much better Minecraft, but like, ooh. Ooh, okay. I could work with this. We find us some nice easy iron. Uh, there's copper. Blech. I spit on you. Disgusting. We don't do copper here. So let's get ourselves some iron. Find us a nice place to live so we can actually start working on a base. And if you know me by now, I'm a very picky person when it comes to finding a place to live. What is that? Look at this. There's not even any iron in there. It's cursed. It's actually cursed. Well, at least I can use this as an opportunity to get us some some stone. Because I'm not going to walk around with, like, wooden tools. And I know I see a lot of people that comment saying, Wow, you use all your tools to the end. No. No, I normally don't. Normally what happens to my tools is, uh... Yeet. Yeet. That. That's what happens. Boom. Lazy crafting. So we got ourselves a sword. Since axes are weak. Get ourselves a pickaxe. Get ourselves a axe. Boom. Stone tools moving up in the world. All right, now we got to find ourselves an actual, like, cave. This is not... I kind of want to go in that direction towards an actual, like, forest instead of here, but this one seems to be less of a pain to go. I'm also not finding, like, any food at all. All right, we at least found some easy surface coal, I guess. Two, we found two surface coal. That's... is. It's going to be one of these, huh? It's going to be one of these episodes. The very first episode needs to be a good start. We need to be super successful. Aha, Plains Biome. If we can find a village over there, absolute perfection. That's what we need. So honestly, since we're here and I can like talk to you guys in just, I don't know, it's it's different than a 100 days video. You know what I mean? I could just kind of say things a bit more chill, actually talk about stuff, give channel updates, since I don't want to like plug too much stuff in those videos since they're kind of like a movie. I don't want to like interrupt the experience, you know, but I can actually just kind of talk about stuff. And like, I've been excited to do this hardcore series for a long time, like so long, but I've been putting it off because to be honest, I was nervous of how well it would do on the channel for as one and two. Oh, there's a village. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry, chicken. And number two, it's just kind of, I'm just kind of sad about my old world. I'm, I miss that world. I never died in it, which is such a cruel way to have it taken from you. Like, you know, if I died, I would have been upset, sure. You know, I would have been like, wow, all that work just to die in this world, that's, that sucks. But losing a world without dying is so much worse. You know what I mean? Almost as bad as the amount of caves that this world has. Oh, wait, what did we find here right before? Aw, uh, okay, maybe, maybe we can at least find some kind of something in here. Found one coal, and we found a Rob Zombie. <laughs> and we got some copper my favorite i love copper it is mad dark down here i'm not really a huge fan of trying to go down these kind of caves right now i'll take the coal and i'm kind of just gonna dip you know what we're already here there's no mobs i don't hear them not a big fan of this really making me anxious it's all actually just copper let's leave this is making me super anxious we're getting out of here this is not this is not as the kids would say pog champies we're almost there i have to walk slowly because i'm out of food and i don't want to eat my raw chicken this is the this is the hard life it's almost nighttime the sun has gone down chicken i'm sorry i'm sorry Ch chicken chicken 
Come here. Sustenance. Sorry, pigs. I'm hoping to find some cows that I can start breeding, like ASAP, so we can get ourselves an actual... Some actual stuff going on here. As you could probably tell, this might be a good spot for me to start calling home. Although I don't like swamps. Swamps are kind of icky and gross. They're kind of an eyesore. And I always like to, you know, like terraform my terrain. So I don't know, man. This is the this is the first night, though. This is okay. This is we're gonna rob them like any natural Minecraft player would do. Get ourselves some free beds, pog. Free apples, free potatoes, bread. Please tell me this village has a blacksmith, at least. It's gotta have something. Ooh! Oh, it's copper. Okay, you know, we're gonna sleep for now. We're gonna check out that cave tomorrow. First emerald, cool. More potatoes, more bread, pog. Get out of my bed. This is a good first day. First day was a success, kind of. Let's go into this cave with no hunger, which is a very smart gamer move. This is it? Where are the caves in this world? I need iron, man. I've never had this kind of difficulty getting iron in a new world in my life. In my first hardcore world, I legit found one cave, walked in, found enough iron to supply a whole city. All right, cave system number 24. Number 15. If you get that reference, let me know in the comments. It's a classic. All right, we got a lot of... Oh, we're in a mountain area, so we got like... Oh, wait a second. What Y level are we on? Oh, that's probably why I'm not getting that much iron. I see some way over there on the top of that mountain. I'm going to get this this emerald just because it's kind of funny. I normally never get emeralds this way, so I have to at least do this once. Can I break it with stone? I don't think I can break it with stone. It's probably going to just disappear. Yep, it's gone. Okay. Well, I'm going to hear about that in the comments for the next month. Out of all of these resources, none of them are iron. Okay, so we got more cows. I could probably... Regret. Let's go get some more food while we're at it. Because this kind of works out. We're kind of looking for a house to live in as well. Like a good place to make a base. So, you know, I'm not very happy in this area. So this works out. All right. So I decided that I'm actually so desperate. I'm going to leave this coal. We're going to go over to this mountain area and just, I guess, climb up to that area. Maybe. There's a bunch of iron up there. Yeah. You know what? We're going to do it. I want iron and I'm desperate for iron. So we're going up the side of the mountain. Why not? I could also, I can make a water bucket, but I, I need iron. So I can't really do that. There's more emeralds over there. All right, let's hope this is a massive vein full of... It's looking like... Okay, wait. All right, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. Ten iron. Okay, we can work with this. Let's get smelting this stuff because I would like to actually make armor. I'd like to no longer live like a peasant. You know what I mean? All right, so now that we have all of the iron, I mean, not all of it that we're going to need, but we have a good amount of the iron that we're going to need. We're going to make a chest piece, make a helmet, throw those on. That leaves me with four. That leaves me with five. So what we're going to do, boom, and boom. Now we have ourselves a shield. Look at us. Look at us moving up in the world. We are living like Larry. So I've been thinking about like what kind of house I'd like to live in. And I'm honestly thinking I want to find a village, right? So I want to stumble upon a village, build a wall around it, and build a house, like a small starter base inside of the village. So that way we could immediately, in the next episode of the series, begin exploiting villagers for mad stonks. Capitalism. Because that is what the gamers love to see. But for now, we're just kind of chilling in this cave and we're going to focus up some food. It's probably going to be nighttime before this food is done. So we'll probably just kind of sleep in here. Maybe. Yep. I see the stars coming out. This is our home for the night. All right. So it is the next day and we have ourselves a friend outside. And I kind of want to see if I can. Okay. We got ourselves two friends outside. You guys really going to be like this, huh? Oh, I found more iron. Wait a second. Okay. He didn't drop me a bow, but he led me to more iron. The skeleton actually helped me. This is enough to make pants, too. Let's go. And I did not get shot a single time by that by that guy. That guy must have been a Call of Duty player because he could not hit me for anything. Nine more iron. Let's go. Get rid of that. And boom. Full iron armor. And we still got three more. Also going to make an axe so we can get more resources. Boom. All right. Pick everything up and let's move on from this dump because it's not it's not very friendly place here. 
we are officially at the point where our inventory is getting full, so we need to find ourselves an actual place to live. Like, now. But at least we have a lot of food, you know what I mean? Whenever you're indecisive and you take a long time to find a place to live, you always end up with a lot of food. Alright, so we finally got over to the village, and I say finally because I may have stopped for the tons of animals that there were. It's almost night time I took so long. There's just so many animals. There's so much food. Look at this. 12 raw mutton, 52 raw pork chop, 41 raw beef, 36 leather, which is fantastic for future, like, enchantment setups. Just look at all this, these stonks, man. How am I supposed to resist this? So let's just go inside one of these houses and go to sleep for the night. Alright, so we are now on day, what is it, day four? Day four. Do any of you have anything worth I, um, borrowing? Borrowing. Yes, borrowing. I'm mainly just interested in going to the blacksmith's house. Let's finish looking at this place and then we can maybe get a horse and then get out of here. This place is pretty awful, but I'm seeing some good promising areas over there. Whoa! That was stupid. That was so stupid. I'm lucky there's not like a creeper or something down here. All right, we got a chest. More free apples. Okay, cool. I don't even know why I'm taking the potatoes. Potatoes are a terrible source of food. I know I can cook them. People always tell me in the comments, hey, you can cook those potatoes. I know that. I just don't care. I choose not to. I don't want them. Come on, golem. Give me your iron. Let's go. Sorry, villagers. It had to be done. How many did he give me? Yo, he gave me five. Okay. I'll take it. Now that I've ravaged this place, let's get a horse and let's leave. All right, let's look at you. I like you. You're a cool horse. We're going to give him that. And let's see how fast he is. Oh, oh, he's actually kind of fast. I almost just killed him, too. I'm so sorry. Let's go. Horse riding adventures begin. Nope. Oh, I'm so sorry, horse. I do have apples. I can give him apples. Honestly, unpopular opinion here, but horses, I do love horses in Minecraft, but they're kind of useless. Like, especially after they're, they're like, hey, yo, look at this horse. You can get a horse now. Then they're like, yay, the elytra. Now horses are useless. <laughs> All right, so I figured maybe since if I don't want to live near this area and I don't want to find dark oak in the future, maybe I'll just, you know, get some and hope that we get saplings to drop. So I'm going to harvest a couple of like dark oak wood trees, get us a whole bunch of dark oak. Hope my horse doesn't go too far away because he is Shadowmere. We're going to name him Shadowmere based off of, if you know it, you know it. Let me know in the comments if you know where Shadowmere is from. So for the next couple days, I was joined by my friend Shadowmere, and we continued exploring across the lands, looking for the perfect place to call home. And I said I was picky before, but I didn't say exactly how picky I was, because this place was going to have to be perfect. All right, so I dropped off Shadowmere back at an area that I might call home, and I started going across the ocean because I couldn't put him in the boat. And I stumbled upon this bad boy, and we have a buried treasure map. I kind of want that paper. Papers? Ah, uh, paper's kind of easy to make. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to drown. What do I stick? Spike. Is it almost nighttime again? It feels like it's always nighttime in this world. All right, so it is the beginning of day six, and I've just found the best thing in Minecraft. So right here we have death. That's death. We're going to leave that. But I just found a mushroom biome, and it's actually not that far from the place where Shadowmere is, where I can call home. I go back that way. I can mark this on my map. I can mark down the coordinates, and we will have access to making a mob grinder, like a really good mob grinder, just in the middle of this mushroom biome. I have never found a mushroom biome in an actual hardcore world before. The only times I've ever seen them is if I like look up a seed and I'm like, wow, there's a seed with a, you know, a mushroom biome, but I don't think it's very fun to like start your world with a seed that you already know exactly what it's going to be. Wow, this place is great. We could literally come back here and make a mob grinder that would perform insane so let's see mushroom biome right valley mushroom fields let's go all right so it is the beginning of day six and um i'm gonna come back to this place i marked down the coordinates and we're gonna actually boat our way back over to i guess this treasure and then back to where we're gonna call home but this is really cool i didn't expect to find this at all like it's not the closest to our house but you know what i will take it dude I have never been able to build anything in a mushroom biome in hardcore. This is going to be an insane series. 
So once again, I sped off into the distance with Shadowmere, exploring tons of different biomes in search for the perfect place for us to call home. Ooh, we have more water over here. Okay. I could really work with this. I think we found our home. I think we found our new home. There's a lot of grass everywhere, but you know, that's okay. It's gonna be the first time I've ever actually made like a starter base. I normally don't do starter bases. I kind of just, if you've been around the channel for a while, I kind of just start like random areas and turn them into houses after the fact. You know what I mean? Got some free bread in here. Where are all the villagers? Okay, we got a baby in here. We're gonna block him off with, we're gonna use cobblestone since it's more visible. All right, we got farmer. That should be the last house. It's not that I don't trust iron golem to just kind of do his job it's kind of just i don't trust the iron golem to do his job all right we're gonna go to sleep for the night and then we can finally begin working on our new base all right so since we're finally making a place that we can actually call home i can finally actually make things so we're gonna start out by making us a crafting bench i can finally make myself some chests to actually store all of this stuff Okay, so I thought of the perfect solution. I want to build a wall, but I don't want it to be like a stone wall. I was thinking maybe make a stone wall with lava, but instead I could use like spruce wood and we can make a gorgeous wall. The only thing is I don't really have much spruce wood. So we're going to grab some iron. We should get on shadow mirror. We're going to head over to that spruce forest because I'm thinking maybe we can make the wall out of like some spruce trees. So actually I'm thinking maybe instead of spruce wood, we're just going to go with oak wood instead. Oak is kind of closer to me and it's also a little more it's a little more abundant i guess i don't know i just don't feel like going all up those hills to get spruce and i feel like it would kind of match more to have like oak inspired fence versus having like spruce because i know a while ago i used to say that i didn't like like oak wood that much but actually I've, it's kind of grown on me at this point so we're gonna sit here and we're gonna collect a whole couple of stacks of oak wood so we can go around and make an oak fence it's not gonna be cheap either because we're gonna be using the actual oak logs along with some like slabs and i'm thinking fences since fences will be nice so we can actually look through and see when there's any mobs nearby just to make like a kind of safe haven area to start out with All right, so the sun is starting to set again, and I didn't get a ton of wood since it does take a while to actually mine with uh, with iron axes, but I broke the first axe and I'm halfway through the second, and I got myself about three stacks of wood, and we got seven apples from this and a ton of saplings. So it won't just be deforestation, I can actually pick stuff afterwards. But for now, we're gonna go back to the base camp and we're gonna sleep for the night so we don't have to deal with a ton of mobs tomorrow. And now we can begin building ourselves a wall. And maybe if we have enough space, we can actually gather some sheep, some cows, and get some basic farms kind of going. All right, so it's the next day now, and I'm thinking we're going to kind of just wing it with this. I want this wall to look a bit more natural. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're just take wood and start kind of just going with it. You know what I mean? So like, boom, maybe we need to decide exactly how it's going to look. So I was thinking maybe like slabs, maybe like four apart. And then fences in between so like one two three four boom one two three four boom one two three four boom maybe something kind of along the lines of that and we can kind of just work with it make ourselves like a temporary little area that's more safe than the rest of the nearby area so i've got my perimeter kind of laid out here i put four spaces in between every wood and uh there is a villager that is out how are you out what it's okay natural selection if it takes him okay but yeah i kind of i i also spent some time leveling out this land over here because it was kind of in the way and now the difficult part is going to Ooh, he dropped me a bow okay now the difficult part is going to be making these walls into actual real walls because i realized just by placing out all of this wood just how much this is going to cost me so we're going to make this three high just for kind of like the sake of my sanity. So we're going to build up, we're going to build this wall and we're going to get some farm animals in here and we're going to build ourselves a house.
I just realized that if I do build these three high, some of these spots are not going to work because they go lower down. I guess we'll just figure that out as we go, though. All right, so we got those. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe we make the center area kind of like a larger entrance and we could do like a, that could work. I put these sand blocks here because they were kind of where I thought the center would be. And they kind of ended up being perfect. So we're gonna leave this like this for now. And we're gonna kind of work on the fence. Let's go over to our crafting bench here. We're gonna need, wow, I got lots of dirt now. We're gonna ditch all of that dirt and we're gonna start, I do not have much wood left, but we're gonna start making slabs here. Let's make a stack of fences. We're gonna see if I actually like this design first. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna add all of these. Let's start out with the slabs. All right, so we now have our kind of like vicinity that I want, and we've got some of the walls completed. Uh, this is gonna require a lot of wood. So the first thing I wanna do is run through, and kind of just wipe out all of this grass, just so that way we have a nice smooth area to work with in here. Not a ton of like grass, doesn't hide any mobs or anything. And just so I could also gather some seeds so I could begin making a wheat farm and Start getting some animals in here as well. But we are going to need a ton of wood, obviously. All right, so now that I've actually cut most of the grass in this place, it looks so much better. It looks a lot different than it did. This area, like I said, is going to be the entrance. And then we're also going to light up the outer, like the outskirts as well. So I'm thinking maybe now that we have all this in here, we can kind of just light it up. And I know a lot of you are going to get pretty triggered about how I use torches because I like for areas to be well lit, even if I don't need to use as many torches. All right, so there we go. Our place is now well lit and the grass has been cut. So I'd like to get some cows for sure. I'd like to get some sheep. Uh, for now, we're actually, I think I only have one diamond, huh? If I had three diamonds, I'd make myself a diamond axe because we are going to need so much more wood to finish this fence. But I'm pretty sure it's almost sunset. So for now, what we're going to do instead is we're going to make ourselves a nice little wheat farm. So while we're gathering these oak trees, we can also, you know, wait for our farm to actually become harvestable. We do have the wheat over there as well that we can steal from the farmers. Okay, let's let's also go get Shadow Mirror because he's kind of getting far away. All right, Shadow Mirror, I'm sorry. That's that's going to be where you're going to stay for a little bit, buddy. Sorry, man. I'm thinking maybe we'll put the farm like over here. I want to put the house kind of in the middle. I mean, I could also put it kind of over here. Over here will be the cows. We'll do we'll do over here for now. We'll do like a single water source area. So, we'll do like What's so like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the center will be like right here. Two, three, four. And then we'll kind of just have like a nice little farm area right here for just, just some easy wheat. Just so we have wheat kind of going on. Nothing crazy looking. And we'll go ahead, get us a block of wood. Place this bad boy right there. And we'll just throw one, one little torch on there. It looks kind of scuffed, but you know what? It does the job for now. So it is what it is. And now we're just going to kind of get some seeds going because we need as much wheat as we can get. So that way we can actually start breeding cows and stuff until we can get like golden carrots as a real source of food. 
All right, so it is already day 13 and we are on a mission for wood. So we're gonna dump anything that's not that relevant out of our inventory. We're gonna keep this, get rid of that. Dump you guys, we'll keep you down there because I do still need you. We're gonna dump a lot of the torches and we'll keep those as blocks. And we're gonna make ourselves, I think the goal we're gonna kind of have is probably to break as much of, as many of these iron axes as possible. I think this should be enough, I hope, to finish up the wall and maybe build ourselves our actual base. Look at our nice, beautiful, lit up home area. We're really moving up in the world, gamers. All right, we're gonna go to sleep and there's a zombie, there's a zombie, there's a zombie. Haha, <laughs> you were fooled by the fence and it hasn't yet even been built. What a guy. All right, so now that we've got this going on, we're gonna take our birch wood, make Tons of sticks with birch wood since I was not going to use it for anything anyways. And take a stack of this, make it into wood, and we can just make a ton of fence. Now all we gotta do is go around and fence this whole place up. This space kind of gives me like a uh, bandit camp vibes from like a uh, like Far Cry or something. This place is kind of like a nice little bandit camp. I built just far enough away from the village that I can raid them whenever I want. All right, so we finished up about half of it, maybe. That's that's about half, and we just ran out of fences, so we kind of got an overkill amount of wood, which is definitely not a bad thing. I can use it to finish up making like a house in the middle. I'm not really looking forward to making the house because I don't really build small houses. All right, so now I have all of the fence around this big base area built. And it's it's kind of interesting looking. I don't know exactly if I like it or not, but it's got a little more flair than just like a regular stone wall or something. And it's kind of, it does its job. You know what I mean? We have a nice, much safer area that we can live in. All we gotta do is make an entrance to the front. But first, I think now we're actually ready to begin building ourselves a little like house if I wanted to. Okay, so now we only have two more things to do before I'm kind of set in my new place to live. I need to get some animals, right? We need to start getting us some animals to actually begin farming, I guess. I like cows because we do need more leather and none of my wheat is grown yet. I do have some bones, but instead I thought I would um, borrow some of this, uh, this fresh wheat over here, you know what I mean? Ooh, those carrots? Okay. Potatoes, don't really care, but I'll take them anyways. And rhubarbs, gross. Or what are they, beetroots? Gross. Rhubarbs, lol. Might as well take all these. Why not? Don't care. No remorse. No remorse. All mine. All right, so we've got a lot of wheat now. And we can go get some cows and some sheep. There's actually two sheep right there, and there's that guy. So let's get the sheep first. Come on, boyos. Come on over to your new home. All right, so fun fact. Um, I made this little sheep farm. This little sheep farm and i thought it was recording but it turns out that i had ran out of storage space for the files on the drive i was recording to so yeah we got these uh we got these sheep boys now i collected a bunch of them from out front bred them and we got some nice wool wasted some of my iron to make shears and carpet and now we're gonna go grab us some cows it is a oh, that was almost nighttime okay we're gonna go grab us some cows off of this side area over here and i did get a whole bunch of hay that i um <clears throat> borrowed from the village so I can start breeding. There's four cows to start out with. We are going to have a good cow farm. I won't have to worry about food for a while. We got us a wheat farm. We got a sheep. We got some cows. All we need now is chickens for feathers and we're living life like Larry right now. All right, cows, you are now trapped in here. Let's go ahead. Boom, boom, boom. And did I, did I get all of them? There we go. Let's go. Cow reproduction is a go. That's a weird sentence, but that's okay. Place one of these. And now we officially have both our sheep farm and our cow farm. And we got a little bit of space in between. So I can actually walk in between and not have to worry about stuff. Okay. So ideally for this area right here, I was thinking maybe we could go up like three in each of these. And then maybe make like some fence gate areas kind of there. Put this here, maybe get some fencing to go up here. Some fencing for now we'll do torches since I don't have anything better than torches. And then maybe we'll make another one of these. Do the kind of same thing for that. That looks interesting. I could work with that. It feels like this is one of the worst things about when you're kind of just building in Minecraft is when you constantly run out of inventory space. Is you just find yourself at a constant state of building things, picking up things when you're moving them, etc. And it can be kind of rough. Okay, how does that look? Especially if I have like... It could look better, but it could look worse, I guess. 
So I was just chilling here trying to figure out, you know, how to build my starter house, maybe a little staircase in a house. And, um, I've got some trouble visiting me. We've got some friends over here. Just kind of, I'm near a village and he, should I just leave them? I can't, no, they'll attack the villagers. I do have cows. Here's what we'll do. We're just gonna go get our bucket of milk and we're gonna go take those guys out. I'm not scared of tier three Twitch subs or your simp's curse. Shoot me. All right, we're drinking that right away. As much as I'd love to have a raid, get some totems of undying, not prepared yet. All right, so now that the little problem's over, no more, no more distractions. We're going ham, and we are going to finish building this house. Okay, so actually, in the middle of building the house there, I kind of decided that I want spruce to be the roof because just all oak wood, it didn't really sit right with me. It kind of looked kind of bland. So we're actually just going to head over here to the spruce biome and pick us up some spruce wood because uh, it is the superior wood. It is literally like my favorite type of wood to build with in this game. So it is, I think it'd be, it'd be fitting if we put it in our house. You know what I mean? Even if it's just a little baby starter house, it is still something. Okay, so we got ourselves almost a stack of spruce wood, and more importantly, we got us a whole bunch of saplings. We got seven saplings, eight saplings. So that way, I can make two super trees, which are way more efficient than chopping down these baby spruce wood trees. All right, so now that we're back here, we're going to place out both of these so they become super trees, since I've been placing trees everywhere in here, and it's been a mess. Now we can finally finish up our roof, hopefully. It looks awful. It actually looks so awful. Alright, so the inside of the house is, I think, good now. I lit up the roof as well. This place should be well lit up enough as well that we should be good. From the inside, it looks pretty cool. I like the idea of having a big roof like this. Then we got this cool little, like, porch area. Look at this! Okay! It looks way better than it was starting out at, you know what I mean? So now all we gotta do is move our bed in there and we officially have ourselves a home. And just like that, we've started our new hardcore journey off to an incredible start. I've checked off all three of my first goals for this world by getting full iron, finding a new place to call home with walls for safety, and I built my very first house to shelter me from the dangers of outside. And this is only the beginning. In the next episode, that village next door to us will become a capitalistic machine that will help me get fully enchanted diamond armor and tools. So stay tuned for episode two of Hardcore Season 2. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Anyways, this has been Pain Domination, and I will see you all in the next video.